Hello, Polly's the best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, 6 pm, different Amstrad CPC 464 game in January on my channel. So, today's game is Blade Warrior from Codemasters. So, uh, let's have a look, see if this one loads up successfully. So, it's Rune Blade. Hopefully, well, I haven't tried it yet. And, uh, I dare say we'll see a pirate screen, we normally do. Seems to be loading okay. Ooh, Blade Warrior, there it is. So no, no pirate screen, you can see that this is made by Codemasters. Nice bit of artwork on the uh, the, the uh, loading picture. The, his, his hair's all sticking up, it looks like he's got electric shock. And it's all, well I'm not surprised his hair's sticking up seeing the monsters. Okay, so he's Blade Warrior on the Amstrad CPC. So we've got S for start, O for options. So you can choose between refined keys or joystick. I've got the joystick plugged in, so I might as well go for joystick. Let's start the game. So as you can see, this is Blade Warrior. This looks like almost like a direct port to the Spectrum version, but a bit more coloured in. I think it is, yeah. Okay, so the Spectrum version's rock solid. Let's see how hard this one is. Right, here we go. Jump. Oh shit, I'm falling down. I thought that would have killed me, but it didn't. Okay, let's go. So we've got some speech in the game, just like on the Spectrum version. Graphics are very nice, a nice little bit of detail in the graphics. I'm not sure what they are. Hey, what just killed me? Okay, let's just... Uh, Try that again. What the barrels kill ya? Okay, I've got to jump over the barrel. Oh, you booner! So you've got to try and jump over the barrel. Try and get back up. Here we go. Jump. Jump onto this one. Now what the... Oh, no. Okay, let's try and jump up here. Right, here we go. I'm going to try and jump back up. Oh shit, I've just fallen right through it. Right, let's try going back down this way. Nope, nothing. So that's a blade ball here, let's try that again, but let's not fall down this time. So I'll jump up here, see if we can get through. Um, okay, jump over this weird looking thing. Pretty much anything on the screen kills you on this game. I have played the Spectrum version before, but never the Amstrad. It's pretty much the same as the Spectrum version. I think it's just a direct port. I couldn't be bothered to uh, reprogram it, so they just ported it. Okay, here we go. It says get the scroll. Oh, not this way again. Oh, I just went into that fork thing. Oh, you fuck. So you, you're sort of like going to your grave in your tombstone. Like an instant v burial. Right. Okay. Graphics very nice. Nice, like I said, nice detail. You can tell that's a guillotine in the background. Or a hanging post. Well, Shall I say not a guillotine? Oh, you fuck! No, you can't jump over that by the looks of things. So there's no point you can keep trying. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a very hard game, this is. A very difficult game. As many were in back in the day, many 8-bit games were very notoriously difficult. It doesn't help by the fact that I am absolutely terrible at games as well. Oh, cool, I didn't know you could walk on the roof. Huh, that's, that's quite an easy way of getting past that bit, isn't it? There must be a secret area of the roof where you can walk up to. So we're behind the castle. Watch out for this barrel, because even the barrels kill you. Oh crap, what the hell are them? They're like floating eels. Whatever they are, they do kill you. So, don't touch them. Oh, not more of them. Oh shit. Oh crap. Right, okay. Into the valley of death. Charming. Okay, so, uh, yeah, okay. 
it keeps telling me to get the scroll, but I don't know where this such scroll is. Can I jump on that? Yeah. Try and jump on. Oh, sh Isaac. Hmm. Try and try and jump on it. Right. Somehow I've got to try and get over to that platform there. Right. Here we go. Jump. Yes. Now I can't jump too soon because of that. Oh, no matter what you do, that ball above is going to be in the way. Oh, no, it's not there. Oh, straight in the fire. Oh, almost straight into the fire. Right, I'm going to try and do that again. Right. Jump. Jump. No, no, what are you doing? That wasn't very good, was it? we got to jump at the precise right time. Got to get timing right. Right, jump. No. Okay. So I can't jump too quick because... No, I've done it again. But this time I did actually go in the fire. Right, here we go. No. Okay. I've got it this time. Try and jump. Oh, I missed. Come here. Right, maybe from closer to the edge. There we go. Don't jump yet because of that ball above. Oh, I missed my opportunity then. I could have done it then. No, that's too soon. What are you doing, Paul? Not really Paul is the best at the moment, am I? Okay, here we go. Right. Jump. Watch out for that thing above. Yeah, like I said, you've got to try and do it. Oh, come on, really? One thing I do like about the game is the fire button is to jump not up. If you're up was to jump that would make it so much harder. But you don't seem to have any weapons. Even though he looks like he's carrying a sword. Just about jumping really in this game, pretty much. Getting to the end whilst navigating jumping over bodies and over platforms like this that are frustrating. Oh I didn't know you could jump on that. That might make things a bit easier. Oh, straight in the fire. Okay, yes, yeah, so there's not much sound on the game. There's a little bit of speech even there, but there's not much sound. And uh, yeah, so the graphics are good. Really nice, nice, rich detail in the environments. The game does have a certain atmosphere to it, in my opinion, as well. And um, for that, I'm going to give a uh, Blade Warrior um, 7 out of 10. It's good, but it's it's not bad, bad, but it's not good, good either. It's sort of like a 7 out of 10 sort of score. So, yeah, thank you for watching.